Here we are in 1-4 exercises number 16 through 21. And we're told to subtract on these. So number 16, 7 minus a negative 2. Now remember what happens right here to the 7 minus a minus? That becomes a plus sign. So we are really doing the problem 7 plus 2. And let's write that out here. If we are here at 0 and we're up here at 7, this is our starting point, And we subtract. <clears throat> that goes that way. Now, a negative 2, this means other direction. So that means we go that way. 2. So that's why we're doing a 7 plus 2. And that's a 9. That's not so bad. I like that one. Number 17. Now this is negative 7 minus 2. Now look at what's going on here. Here's 0. Here's negative 7. And we are subtracting, which is that way, 2. So we're going to end up here at negative 8, negative 9. <clears throat> and yes, this is actually an addition problem. Both of these are negative. So it's 7 and 2 are both in the same direction. So it's a 7 and a 2 put together with a negative on it. So that's a negative 9. It's actually an addition problem. So it's like a negative, and it's a 7 plus 2 is our problem with the negative in it. All right, number 18. <clears throat> Here we have a negative negative working just like what we did before. Put it on a number line so we can see what's happening. If here's negative 13, here's 0. And we're going to subtract a negative, that's the switching direction, 10. Notice we're going to come up here somewhere. We're not going to quite hit zero. And so that we realize that they're fighting against each other. This is a plus sign. Negative, negative makes the plus. That switched the direction twice. And so then it's negative 13 plus 10. So th they're opposite signs. And so opposite signs means that we're actually subtracting and the big guy's going to win. So we're actually taking a 13 minus a 10. And we'll leave the negative up here because it's a big one. 13 minus 10 is 3. And negative wins the day. So yeah, you can kind of see that. If you come back up here 10 spaces, you're down here at negative 3. So negative 3 is the answer. Okay, number 19, negative 18 plus 5, they are opposite signs. So this is really negative 18 and a 5, they're opposite, so this is a subtraction, 13 with the negative winning. On a number line, you can see that if here's 0 and here's negative 18, and then we add, which is that way, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we end up somewhere down there. Yeah, negative 13. Very similar to that, we have number 20, 10 minus 57. Notice this is a positive 10 minus 57. They're opposite, so we're subtracting. We're going to put the bigger one on top since it might not be too easy to see. Negative 57 and a positive 10. 57 minus 10, 7 minus 0 is 7. 5 minus 1 is 4. And the negative guy wins, or the stronger one wins, and that's negative. All right, and the last one. We have number. 21, negative 14 minus 8. Negative 14 and a negative 8. Notice that these guys are the same, so it's actually going to be a plus problem. This is an addition problem. So 14 plus 8, that's 2 carry the 1, it's 22, and they are both negative. So let's look at that on the number line to make sure that makes sense. We are starting down here at negative 14, and we are subtracting, not subtracting a negative 8, just subtracting 8 more. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We end up right down here at negative 22. Okay, good.